strong to get things started from behind the service line. So Varankovic with the reception. Perubet with the first spike. Perubet with the bump, there's the set, and then Perubet's poured into action to produce the point-winning play. Russia get the first point on the board, the block from Germany. Landing out of bounds. Louisa Lippmann not able to control it as the res leading respective point scorers go head to head. Batista with the serve then. Well dug out by Dura. That's a terrific hit. From Stiegroth. Terrific elevation. And perfect precision with the put away. Coming in from outside of the court. Piercing the defense perfectly. Perubet electing to play that, may have gone long. Backcourt spike attempted. And it produces a point-winning play for Russia. And they take the lead, 2-1. Perubet producing a spike. Hanka was unable to control. So Russia serving 2-1. There's the set. And Lippmann with a pulverizing put away. My goodness, that came down on a steep angle. No chance of that being returned into play. It's point Germany to tie things up at two. So Lippmann to serve then. Looking to add. It's the one point she just produced for her squad. Delicate touch, well saved by Derp. The bump from Hanka, Lippmann, with a big spike. That's well played by Romanova. Russia touch it over. Terrific reflexes by Perubet. The bump from Talisheva. Russia being pulled apart a little bit. Now they have time to reset. Big spike is terrifically saved from the backcourt by Voronkova. Russia get it over, Lenka Dur with the bump, the reverse set, and finally, Germany come away with the point at the conclusion of that mega rally. Scherzl with the spike, but my goodness, did Russia defend tenaciously during the course of that point. Absolutely sensational. There's the conclusion of it, but prior to that, there were some terrific saves by the Russian defenders. So Lippmann serving, Germany leading 3-2. That service error will tie things up at three points apiece. So Perubet to serve. <laughs> Terrific hitting once again from the flank. From Scherzl. Two successive German points in a row coming from her hand. The Rubets with the reception. Oh, a terrific elevation off one leg from the theme of it. Plenty of space in the German defences. And she picked one of them off the ground so quickly off one leg. And it's the theme of it to serve. Service error gives Germany a one-point advantage. Into the game, Talisheva, the libero. Well left by Marin Fromm. To Scherzer with the serve, and it's an unreturnable one. Very low speed, but almost like a knuckleball. It was drifting and dipping, and it was unplayable, deceiving Voronkova in flight. Look at that. Terrific service. First ace of the match from Scherzl. Oh, what a block. Voronkova timed her lead to perfection. And was able to angle it straight down onto court. 
First point of the match for Veronica Brun. My goodness, did she dominate the net on that particular point. It's an effective backcourt spike. My goodness, what a point because the captain Marin from from almost in line with the net was able to set up Lippmann and Lippmann put it beyond the outstretched arm of Talisheva to give Germany a two-point advantage. So Hanka with the serve, Voronkova with the reception, Talisheva with the bump, heavy hitting being thundered down from Malik. Russia get themselves back to within one. That's a terrific reception from Voronkova to keep Russia in the point. Entertaining rally ensued. Attempted block was unsuccessful. Marin from with the put away. With Germany having arrived at the Eight point total, the first of our technical timeouts. Perubet and Fatisova unable to combine to keep that point in play for Russia. So it's been nip and tuck in the opening exchanges here at the Suwon Indoor Gymnasium. Germany with a two-point advantage. Remember, it's the German teams who have enjoyed success against Russia, including the USSR, and one of their two victories coming courtesy of East Germany, who beat the Soviet Union 3-2 way back at the 1986 World Championships. Germany's most recent victory coming back at the 2004 World Grand Prix. And that going the five-set distance. So Marin Fromm to serve. Germany leading by two. Delicate touch from Malik. Terrific defense at the net and it produces a point-winning play for Russia. Communication and anticipation working in perfect harmony there. Look at how the Russians converge on the net. Malik and Fatisova combining for that block. Russia back to within one. Well saved by Voronkova. Has to go over on this touch. Oh, Perubets just wide of the sideline. There was plenty of space at which to aim. She went for that far corner cross court. But he was just wide of the sideline. So Grunding preparing to serve. Germany leading by two. Perubets with the reception. Romanova with the set. Well received from Hanka. Oh, and beautifully finding the space. With wonderful precision. Lippmann just bisecting the Russian defenders. And that is three points in the match now for Germany's leading scorer. Grunding to serve once again. Germany with a three-point advantage, 10-7. Voronkova with the reception. Lippmann with the bump. The set comes from Hanka. Lippmann again with the overhead. Has to go over on this occasion. Romanova does so. Backcourt spike is received by Romanova. Terrific play. Talisheva put the ball in position for Russia before it was set up nicely for the emphatic overhead. So it's a two point match. Malik serving two points in the match for her so far. Almost caught in two minds there with Stigrote. Russia have to get themselves reorganized. Malenka Dirk unable to control 
that overhead that came in her direction from Perubet. It's a one-point match now. Almost got caught in two minds, Stieg wrote. Set from Talisha, but it's pounced upon by Peru Betts. Two points in the match for her. And Kadir with the reception. Big overhead from Stigroth, who's really exploding off the court and thundering down these spikes. Two points in the match now. Her team lead by two. So Lippmann to serve, catches the net cord and it just deceives Efima that she was unable to control the reception. After the ball, the ball's trajectory was altered. There's the net cord and Efima couldn't adjust. So Lippmann serving, four points in the match so far. That, on that, her first unreturnable serve. Backcourt spike is sent back. Quick reactions from Malik to catch the rebound. So, timeout called by Russia at a point where they are trailing by four. Germany 13, Russia 9 in the opening set here at the Suwon Indoor Gymnasium. Terrific reflexes from Malik. And then effective blocking at the net. And a combination of Hanker and Grunding. No chance of that point going in Russia's favour. Despite being 0-2 so far in poor play here at the Su-1, Germany have actually competed pretty well. And if they can turn that effective competition in patches and consolidate it into a win here in the first set, well, that will do their confidence a world of good. But that's a terrific point winning play from Peru Bet. Three points in a match for her now, all of them coming on effective kills. Approaching 90 kilometers per hour. It was indeed a super spike. So from with the reception. Terrific defending at the net. Veronkova in position once again. Player is normally so dominant on offense, coming up with that monster block, and both of her points have come with towering blocks. It's almost a replay of her first effective kill. Oh, what a save from Talisheva. Russia still in the point. Peru bets with the delicate touch from the backcourt. And Russia turn a seemingly disadvantageous position into a point-winning play. That was a terrific save just here. And then look at that with three German defenders all at the net. Rubets picked the vacant space perfectly. But Russia can't get back to parity. Follow, following serve, sailing beyond the baseline. So Germany restored their two point advantage, 14 12, as Stiegroot prepares to serve. Rubets with the reception. Big hit is put away by Afima for her second point of the match. And it brings Russia back to within one. So theme of it to serve. And from the second point of the match, that perfect set from Hanker, powered down the serve, which gives her team a three-point lead. Came at an acute angle. Russia were unable to keep it in play. So Scherzel to serve. Oh, and it's an unreturnable serve. It's a second of the match. An ace from Scherzel. 
takes Germany to the 16 point total, which brings up te technical timeout number two. Scherzel with four points so far, two spikes and two unreturnable serves. Peru bets electing to leave it and it dipped steeply inside the service line. It's been Germany a three point advantage. So some of the highlights from what has been a competitive opening set to this point. Peru bet four points in the match to lead her team in scoring. Scherzel has been absolutely sensational. Not only has she produced two successful spikes, but two unreturnable serves as well. She's preparing to serve now. Germany leading by three. It's another jump serve. This one does go long. Perubet selected to leave the previous one. But her judgment was spot on in this particular instance. So it's a two-point match. Russia preparing to serve. It's Romanova with the flat service. So point to Russia. Rope with the reception. The set from Hanker. Big backcourt spike from Lippmann. And kept in play. Remarkable from Voronkova. Lenka Dur with the bump. Talisheva setting up Voronkova. Dur in the firing line once again. Hit over by the captain from Talisheva. The set from Romanova. And finally, the point winning play produced by Voronkova, who was the hero of the moment on that particular point, because how she kept Russia in it during the course of that mega rally was absolutely terrific. Look at her hurtle after this one, into her opponent's side of the court, getting back into position, and then when ultimately the set came in her direction, she made no mistake, despite that lung-busting effort and a 28-second rally, she was able to recover Look at her setting up on the left side now. There's the set from Romanova. And that was too steep. And came in too rapid a fashion for Len Kadir to deal with. All square at 16 points apiece. But then the point goes back in Germany's favor after that service error. But that's the type of play punctuated by terrific retrieval skills from Voronkova and that point winning spike which could really shift momentum in their favor. Well, Talisheva unable to control that service from Hanka which came over pretty quickly. Unreturnable serve from Hanka, her first of the match. Germany lead by two. by Voronkova. The set is turned back. Louisa Lippmann absolutely ecstatic having produced that monster block. Her first of the match. Five points in the match for her now. Terrific play. She's getting it done in all facets of the court. An unreturnable serve. And three spikes as well. Germany lead by three. Peru bets with the reception. Big spike fired over from Maligana. And then she was in position to produce the kill block on the front line with a teammate. serve well dealt with by Germany Louisa Lippmann with the effective spike 
Lippmann now with her fourth effective kill to move to five points in the match and give her team a three-point advantage, defying the block attempt with the duo of Russian defenders. Rubes with the reception, then into action with the spike. Set from Hanka, backcourt spike is a beauty by From, my goodness. And Germany closing in on the first set, Felix Kozlowski pleased with the way his team are playing. They are full of energy, showing terrific togetherness. And that could well be a crucial component as they edge ever closer to the 25-point winning total with a four-point advantage deep into this first set. So Marion from two points in the match so far. She's preparing to serve as Germany lead by four, 21-17. Well, there was acres of space in which to aim for Fatishova. And she picked one with a plum. Take your pick. And actually, putting it right through Marin from. Just long, I have to say that's well judged by Germany. Fatisova with the service error. So Germany now in a really commanding position as Grunding prepares to serve. They lead by four. And Russia are going to need a run of sustained points to prevent Germany from taking the first set. Can they put that string of points together? Well, there's the first of them. Maligana. Terrific height on that put away. Approaching three meters. She's serving now. Reception by Stiegroth. And then she's caught into action with the spike. And she gets off the ground so quickly. Three points in the match now. They're splitting the Russian defenses converged on the net so Lippmann would love to close it out on her serve Germany leading by four 23-19 Lenka Dirk with the reception of that spike that's terrific hitting from Stiegroth once again to bring up set point four points in the match now from Stiegroth and she has produced some highlight reel hitting from that wing to put her team in this advantageous position. Look at the elevation once again, and then a pile driver of a put away. Lippmann serving set point 24-19. Maligana. Germany get it back over. A change of tempo. Well recovered by Afima. But a terrific save from Veronkova once again. But Russia were pulled all over the place, and as they attempted to recover. Germany were able to exploit the open court that resulted. They take the first set, 25 points to 19 in 23 minutes of play. Terrific effort from Germany. Not suffering any hangover from the disappointment of four straight defeats. They're looking to bring that run to an end. Look at Veronkova hurling herself to the court once again, but as she recovered back to her position, wasn't able to get there quickly enough. And the point-winning spike powered across the court to see Germany take a one-set-to-nothing lead. Scherzl, who led all scorers with six points in that match, but that player, Stiegroth, was absolutely electric. Louisa Lippmann with five points. Sora produced a terrific block, which she hadn't been given credit for on a statistics sheet, but make no mistake, she's been a factor 
both offense and defense. Lusty encouraging from the sidelines. Known from with two points on two successful kills. Captain, energetic as ever. Attempts to keep her team in points. was outstanding during the course of that first set. Some terrific plays, including a hustle play which wouldn't show up on these stats for, but keeping a team in a point by sprinting over to Germany's side of the net. Now, there's the block from Lippmann, but on the official stat score, she hasn't been given credit for that. So she remains on five points officially, courtesy of four effective kills and a serve. There's evidence of the towering defensive play that she's produced. Four unreturnable serves during the course of that opening set for Germany. Two of them coming from the hand of Scherzel. Look at that one that dipped inside the baseline. Impossible to read. Perubet selected to watch it. And it proved to be an ace. So Germany with the edge in statistics. Russia blocking effectively. More effective serving in terms of unreturnable serves and spiking as well from the set winners Germany. So preparing then for set number two, Russia to serve. With Romanova. Now, that's an unreturnable serve. The first ace for Russia in the match. And a terrific way to begin the second set after conceding the first. Romanova with her first point of the match. Has to go over on this touch. Voronkova with the backcourt spike. Sent Stegroat sprawling. And from able to produce the acute angle on the spike from the flank to bring it back to parity. Look at that for a save from Stegroat. Absolutely sensational. Service error. Makes it advantage Russia once again. So Voronkova, given how she's been playing, we see another trace of bullets of a serve that's in play. That's exactly what it is. Well handled by Stegroth. So Lippmann, putting that one way out of bounds. Russia leading by two. Where will Voronkova place this one? Jump spike serve. And that's the flip side. Shaking her head frustratedly. But when it's in, it is a serious weapon. But oftentimes can fizz into the net. So Germany back to within one. Grunding. One point in the match so far, preparing to serve. Voronkova with the reception. The reverse set is dinked over the net by Malik. Wide of the mark. And the attempt to put away from Stigroth. Now there's a touch, so the point in fact goes in Germany's favour. So a challenge has been launched. Because the point was called Germany's after a deflection was spotted by Li Hong Fi at the net. Russia have launched a challenge immediately, suggesting that the ball didn't touch one of their defenders' hands. So Hawkeye called into action. 
will be looking for a touch or not. Official review. And there's no touch. The official call. The ball just curving beyond the forearm of the Russian defender. Point to Russia. They have the serve and they lead by two. 4 2 is the score. As for Tisova. Preparing to serve. Three points in the match so far. From with the reception. Lippmann with the big spike. Well saved by Romanova. Lenkadur with the set, touched over by Stigroth. Time for Russia to set for the backcourt spike. Terrific save by Durr. Germany have to get it over on this touch, and it's turned back emphatically at the net by Malik. Well, Germany were put on the ropes during the course of that point, and Russia ultimately able to capitalize. What a save by Lenkadur. And then Stigroth and her attempted spike. Locked effectively from with the scrambling reception bumped over by Stigroth and again Germany being pulled asunder by this precise hitting the powerful hitting being produced by Russia and they have a four point advantage they really are setting themselves quickly and while Germany are trying to regroup and recover well Russia aren't giving them the time to do so terrific play to begin this second set Durr with the reception, Lippmann with the big spike at the net. Germany break Russia's run of points to close the gap to three. Lippmann with seven points in the match so far. She leads all scorers. 95 kilometers per hour practically on that spike. She's serving now. Well received by Veronkova, big hit. From Peru Betts takes her to five points in the match and restores Russia's advantage back to four. So Malik to serve. Backcourt spike, did it bite the baseline? No, it was just long from Lippmann. She receives a consoling pat from Stigroth because that's one she would have backed herself to execute effectively. But instead, in going for depth, she's just put it long. And that takes Russia to the eight-point total to trigger the first technical timeout. They lead by five. So Lippmann leaves all scorers with seven points, five of which came in set number one. Leading light for Germany once again is confirmation of her numbers. Remember, she's been Germany's leading scorer in four of the five completed matches to date. She started this match in a similar vein. The only fixture, which is an exception from Lippmann being the leading scorer was when they won 3-1 against Brazil when it was the captain Marin Fromm who led her team in that victory with 19 points. But there's the block from Lippmann, which she still hasn't been given credit for. On the statistics sheet at least. So action back underway. Well dug out by Germany. Romanova with the set, the backcourt spike from Veronkova. Couldn't be handled by Germany, and they have come racing out of the blocks to take a six-point lead. Terrific precision. And that put away. Malik to serve. Reverse set. See Scherz will go off one leg to move to seven points in the match on her fifth effective kill. Germany closed the deficit to five. So Stigrot to serve. Parubet with the reception. Baron from has a spike dealt with. Romanova setting up. And Fimova 
Germany keep it in play. Oh, clever play. What a save. It's still alive. But Russia can't get it over. Oh, the contacts from Russia were skimming the net. And as such, they would have had to defy gravity to scoop this one over. Look at the hustle from Russia. Terrific from Malik. Then from Perubet. Each contact touching the net. And ultimately, they're not able to get it over the net. Germany back to within four. Perubet with a big hit. Terrifically saved by Durr. From inquiring as to whether there's a touch. So challenge has been requested. And there's confirmation that there is indeed a touch from the outstretched finger of Romanova. Point Germany, they close the gap to three. So Stieg wrote to serve. Germany six, Russia nine, second set. Talisheva with the reception. Big backcourt spike, powered over from Malik. Point Russia, to extend their lead to four. From oh quick hands once again from Baronkova backcourt spike from Perubec Lenka Dur going to court to keep it alive. From has it repelled at the net from a tandem of Romanova and Efimova to give them a five-point lead. Lenka Dur with the reception. Aaron from as Russia keep it in play. Here's the set. Terrific quickness from Stieg Roth. Clever play. Russia going to court despairingly, but it's ultimately in vain. Wonderful disguise. We've seen the force from her hand on a 90 kilometers per hour spike. But here, deft touch from Louisa Lippmann, eight points in the match now on that, her seventh successful point-winning kill. Yofimova <laughs> tried to execute the same play at the net with a delicate little dink. But Marin Fromm was wise to it and able to produce the block to five points in the match. Germany back to within three. Oh, what a hit. Voronkova reaching behind her to put that one away. Five points in the match now. Russia lead by four. Terrific athleticism in evidence once again. Hustling, bumped over by From. Russia now with plenty of time to set. Germany, have they recovered? No. Der going to court once again. She really is putting her body on the line for her team. But even her motor unable to get her in position to secure that ball for her team. You cannot question her desire. And more often than not, she comes up trumps by getting a contact that keeps her team in the point. Timeout called by Germany. They're trailing by five. Russia responding very well indeed after conceding the opening set, 25 points to 19. <laughs>
So Lazarenko into the match. And can only find the net on her service attempt, the 20 year old. That gives a point to Germany. 9 13, they are trailing. So Hanka to serve. That's a terrific serve once again. Well dealt with by Talisheva. Pulverizing power by Voronkova. We move to six points in the match now. Four successful kills. And look at that. The 100 kilometer per hour bar barrier breached with 101 kilometer per hour put away from Voronkova. Clever touch dealt with by Russia to arrive at the 16 point total to trigger the second technical timeout in a commanding position. They lead by seven, and it's been a terrific response from the fifth ranked team in the world. Well, the highlights from set number two so far as we see Scherzel off the reverse set with her, one of her seven points. Louisa Lippmann leads Germany in scoring with eight. It's a really clever play to find the space with a deft touch. Lenka Durr, while well, during the course of that point where she couldn't get that one with a dive, she did produce a dive to keep her team in it. And here's evidence. Terrific desire demonstrated by the German libero. At this juncture, it's Russia who have the advantage on the scoreboard. Romanova to serve. Stigrop with the reception. Good defense from Hanka. And ultimately, Germany coming away with that point. And they seem to be under pressure from the Russian attacks. They arrive at double figures. Marin from bisecting the gap between Fatisova and Voronkova. Oh, what a block at the net. Grunding and Lippmann in tandem. Who got the crucial touch? Fantastic play. And Lippmann in the vicinity once again. The credit not gone in her direction for that defensive play. No matter, we continue. Kalisheva unable to dig out that one. Flexes at the net and the set allowing Stigro to position herself perfectly for her, for her fifth point of the match. So three consecutive points won by Germany. Time out called by Russia to break their momentum and readjust their tactics as they look to close out set number two. So when Lippmann was in tandem with Grunding at the net, it's Grunding who's been given credit for the block. <laughs> Terrific save by Durr on the spike from Voronkova. And then Terrific play at the net from Fatisova.
So the set for Peru best, but it's denied at the net by a trio of German defenders. Unable to get it over the net, such was their presence. And Germany back to within four. Terrific save, and then look at the hustle from Lippmann, the leading scorer. It goes over on the third touch from Germany. Spirited applause from the crowd here at the Suwon Indoor Gymnasium. But Germany had produced such hustle, they weren't able to recover their positioning. And Russia capitalized on the spaces that existed in their attempted defenses. But the hustle from Germany, from Lippmann, who sprinted into Russia's side of the court to keep her team in it, again, it can only be admired. Stigroat with the spike received by Voronkova, who took off on the back court and touched it over deftly. Big set. Turned back by Germany. Lengthy rally, this one. Lankadur with the set. Running into play, and it's going to be a point-winning play. He's Stigrote. Six points in the match for her now. And that was a lengthy exchange. with the got contact on the ball but couldn't control it on this occasion Germany unable to reel it in despite demonstrating the desire to do so big hit from Malik she's serving now four points in the match the team lead by five Stigrote with the set from out of bounds, and it produces a point-winning play from Lippmann in the backcourt. Well behind the attack line. And still, she was able to find a space. That's from the previous point. And Marin from and Louisa Lippmann couldn't keep the ball in play for their team. But the point that followed saw the set from a similar position way out to the side. That court attack was successful. <laughs> Terrific hit from Malik. Five points in a match for her now. Russia lead by five. Acute angle produced on that kill. Well, there was plenty of space as the German hitters were converging to see which way the set was going to go. And the attempted overhead by From was blocked effectively by three Russian defenders in tandem. They're four points away from taking this second set, and they lead by six. Perubet's looking to serve. She's got six points in the match so far. <laughs> it's out of bounds, and the first point of the match for Van Jack. Coming into the game off the bench and mating, making an immediate impact, the 22-year-old. 0.9 meters tall, Ivana Vanyak. <laughs> the service going long. It gives Germany. It sees them facing a six-point deficit. As Lazarenko prepares to serve. Jump spike is effective after she put a previous one in the net and it put Hanka in such difficulty that a reception 
could only find the net. Her teammates couldn't keep the point alive. Flat jump serve, difficult to deal with for Vanyak and Hanka. She couldn't get that ball up and over. So again, it's been a wonderful response from Russia. Having conceded the opening set, Germany calling timeout. As they look to make an adjustment tactically. We'll see them get back to parity. Haven't got many points to play with, of course. Russia two points away from taking set number two. Lenkadur with the reception. Vanya. With the overhead, it's sent back over by Russia, but that one won't be. Terrific, quick wristed put away by Hanker. Really got some whip on that spike, and the placement was perfect. So Imudu into the match, preparing to serve. Her team looking to edge their way back into this second set. Well, that brings up set point number two on the service error. And set point for the first time here in set number two for Russia. Romanova to serve. <laughs> Terrific save by for Bacheva. Moody with the set, the backcourt spike attempted, hurtling after it is Perubet. It's going to have to go over on this occasion. Is this in play? Yes, it is. Lenkadur with the bump. There's the set and the spike. Too hot for, for Bacheva to handle. Germany stave off the first set point, but a challenge has been requested by Russia. Well, no fault because the attack launch launched from well beyond the three-meter attack line. So set point for Russia, still. 24-18, they lead. Terrific save from Paul. Oh, what a hit from Louisa Littman. She moved to double figures in the match on that, her ninth successful kill. But Germany need a run of unanswered points to try and take this set to two clear points. Timeout called. As Russia looking to break the momentum that Germany are establishing here in this fight back. High speed slam. That spike from Lippmann. Double digits in the match now. The only point scorer to arrive at that double digit total to lead all scorers. Russia just caught in two minds seemingly there. A little bit of hesitation before players went to ground, and a, but they couldn't get there before the ball made contact with the court. Desperate dive. The players looking, but ultimately nobody committing. Touched over, recovered by Fromm. 
Louisa Lippmann with another thunderous spike. 11 points in the match now. And Germany competing terrifically well. They've been facing set points. But still, they're just taking it one point at a time. And are closing the gap. Deflection on the net cord on the serve from From. Oh, and Amudu, her quick contact, catching her teammates unawares. And finally, Russia close out the second set. But Germany will be buoyed by the fight back that they produced, making Russia earn that second set. But they have done so to tie this match up at one set apiece. Germany take or concede set number two. Russia take it 25 points to 21. And we are all square at one set all. There's the front court trio of Lippmann, Grunding and Paul were recovering from their block attempt. They were just a little bit out of position to attempt to keep the contact from Amudu alive. That's how Russia confirmed set number two. And so we are currently tied at one set all. Approaching one hour of play here at the Suwon Indoor Arena. So highlights from what was a fantastic second set. Russia started incredibly well after conceding set number one. Some fantastic plays throughout from both teams, both offense and defense. from with five points during the course of set number two. Team of up two points, one kill, one monster block. Beautiful reverse set from Hanker. And Louisa Lippmann with six points in the second set alone in her double-digit total for the match. Peru Betts with three points in set number two. Stieg wrote with a pair of points during that second frame. But it's a set that's been taken by the fifth ranked team in the world to tie this thing up at one set apiece. Two unreturnable serves produced by Russia. And look at that one over on the right. Perfectly placed, finding the sideline. Good depth as well. The stats from set number two. Russia with the edge in blocks once again. A pair of unreturnable serves, doubling the total produced by their opponents. So we're preparing for set number three then. Aaron Fromm gets things underway. Voronkova sees her attempted spike dealt with. And Russia could not reciprocate as Marin Fromm gets the first point of set number three on the board. With a booming backcourt spike. Oh, touche, says Fatisova. Six points in the match for her now. We're all square at one point apiece. So Voronkova with her jump serve. Dealt with effectively by Stigrot. Delicate touch. Was bumped up by Talisheva. Lenka Dürr, the libero into action for Germany. Lippmann can't keep it alive. And it's Russia who take the point. Peru 
Roubert with eight points in the match now. Good save by Durham. What was a brilliant serve by Veronkova. Not unreturnable, but there's no question that it set up the easy put away for Fatisova because Lenka Durr had to die full length to keep the initial serve alive. The def German defense is split. And Fatisova capitalized with a forceful spike. Clever play by Stieg Roth. Six points in the match for her. Brings the team back to within one. Grunding with the serve. Veronkova with the reception. Perubets, nine points in the match. And that speedy spike to give her team a two point advantage. Oh, Lippmann turned back at the net by Afimova, her second block of the match. And it gives her team a three-point advantage. <clears throat> Time to perfection. After some wonderful anticipation, got her into perfect position. Afimova. It's of her to serve. From with the reception. Oh, well received. And I thought that Veronkova had dealt with it effectively, but she couldn't control the contact. And Germany back to within two. Well held, sir. Over on the sideline. Kadur with the contact. Even a player with the speed and energy of Marin from not able to run it down. So Maligana with the serve. Oh my goodness, what a save from Talisheva off that thunderous spike. And Russia come away with the point. Louisa Lippmann hit that backcourt spike like a rocket. <laughs> and an affectionate peck on the cheek for Talisheva because she really put herself in the firing line to keep that point alive for her squad. And they come away with it, they lead by four. Lenka Dur with the set. A trio of Russian defenders turn back the attempted put away, and it's a five point advantage as Russia arrive at the eight point total to bring about technical timeout number one in this third set. Well, Voronkova, four blocks along with four spikes, and her serve has been such a devastating weapon once again for her squad. She's been terrific throughout this contest. Look at the height she gets and way, the way she's able to direct that kill block to conclude the point. And she's produced a spike of over 100 kilometers per hour. 101 kilometers per hour on the speed gun in set number two. And she hasn't produced an unreturnable serve yet, but look how difficult this jump serve is to deal with. It puts Lenka Dürer at a really disadvantageous position. Germany are split apart, and Fatisova feasts on the easy pickings. Marina Voronkova, a leading light for Russia in this match that is currently tied at one set apiece. Maligana to serve. Big hit from Paul. Voronkova with the reception. Peru bets. Powers over a point winning play.
Germany unable to control the block. So Maligan is to serve once again. Imudu setting up Lippmann. Now is there contact? That's what Germany are claiming. And it's been deflected out of bounds, which means that it is point Germany. Twelve points in the match now for Louisa Lippmann. So that service error makes it point Russia who restore their six points advantage. Rubes with the serve. Then Kadur with the reception. Backcourt spike is kept alive by Romanova. Ultimately, Ronkova puts Durr under pressure. Marin Fromm times her leap and finds a point winning play from a really difficult position. She showed terrific patience there, got herself into perfect position, and was able to produce a point winning spike. That is fantastic. Just hesitated momentarily to time her leap, ideally. And it's nine points in the match now for the German captain. Scherzel with the serve. Veronkova with the reception, cleverly touched over by Afimova. Backcourt spike by Paul is rejected at the net. Veronkova once again. Five blocks I make that now for Veronkova, but she hasn't been given credit for that one. Germany take the point. Pull back the deficit by one. High speed spike from Louisa Lippmann. Touche, says Veronkova. Well, she may not have been given statistical credit for the previous block, but there's no doubt that she's claimed the points on that occasion. And again, in the region of 100 kilometers per hour. Ball still alive, Lenka Dürr gets it over. Terrific hustle from Germany, but they couldn't get themselves back into position to deal with that spike. Fatisova, eight points in the match now. A terrific hustle. Look at the re reflexes from Imudu catching that one. With her teammates back. That's Imudu with the set. Lippmann tries to touch over. She then sets from with the backcourt spike. Romanova with the set. And it's Veronkova who moves to double digits in the match now on that her sixth successful kill. So Russia leading by eight. Romanova has been absolutely sensational. That's the Veronkova, put away, set up by Romanova. Veronkova, with 10 points in the match now, a, 100 a 101 kilometer per hour spike in set number two, and one at 99 kilometers per hour on the speed gun here in set number three. So Germany trailing by eight. That's a big hit from Louisa Lippmann. 14 points in the match now for Germany's leading scorer across the VNL. Rubets unable to dig that one out. 
Marin from. Yeah. Varonkova ah. continues her dominant display here in set number three. 11 points in the match now. Including a block, well, excluding a block would be the correct way of saying it, for which she hasn't been given credit. So she remains on four blocks, but 11 points in the box score for Varonkova. Well, that'll be a welcome sight for Germany. Cut the deficit to seven. They demonstrate a terrific fight in set number two to make J Russia really work to close out that second set when they staved off multiple set points. Well, unable to control that attempted overhead. Scherzel sees, German, sees Germany face an eight-point deficit at the juncture of the second technical timeout. Russia in a really strong position here, racing through set number three, having taken set number two. So some of the highlights. Lenka Durr sent sprawling to try and deal with the high-speed jump spike serve of Veronkova. Just offered up invitingly for Fatisova to put away. Fatimova in the block and then in action once again. Fatisova absolutely sensational in the match. Eight points so far. Three of them coming in set number three. So Russia. What a commanding performance so far here in this third set. Tatisova preparing to serve. Paul with the reception. Has to go over on this contact. Paul gets it over the net. Set by Voronkova. And then the German defences reached once again by Peru Betts, who moves to 12 points in the match to lead her team in scoring. Going down the sideline, Imudu anticipated the other direction. Big hit from Luisa Lippmann, terrifically saved by Veronka, but Russia have to put it over on this contact. Aligana does so. But that left them rather disorganized defensively. And Lippmann needed no second invitation to move to 16 points in the match on 15 emphatic kills. 91 kilometers per hour, practically. And what a display of high-speed hitting we're witnessing from Lippmann and Veronkova here at the Suwon Indoor Gymnasium. Well saved by Amudu. Stigroth puts it over. Clever touch from Perubet. Imudu with the set. And the attempted backcourt floater by From was short and could only drift harmlessly into the net. One of those moments. So Germany being doubled up here. They trail by nine. Novik with the serve. Oh, that's a terrific hit by Stigroth. Eight points in the match for her now. Alicia with the reception. Imudu with the set. Backcourt spike attempted by Lippmann. Now, Veronkova elected to play that. I didn't get the sense that it was touched by one of her teammates in the front court, but had she not touched it, surely it was going long. 
But again, the speed, of, no, it was, a, it was touched. So it was touched at the net by Afima Varonkova with no choice but to try and keep it alive and she couldn't control it. So Louisa Lippmann with 16 points in the match. So a definite touch from the hand of Afima Varonkova. But it really put Varonkova at the mercy of that pile driving spike. And she couldn't control the ball. So Germany will trail by as many of by as many as nine back to within seven. As Stigro prepares to serve. 11 18 here in set number three. The reverse set brings Peru Betts into play. Lippmann with the reception from sees her spike received by Veronkova, who thunders down another one to move to 12 points in the match. Joint leading scorer for her club, for her team, along with Peru Betts. All of Peru Betts points have come on kills. Veronkova. Four blocks she's been given credit for in that total as well. Talisheva with the set. Veronkova, well saved by Talisheva. Has to go over on this contact. Perubets does so. Terrific dive by the Libro from Germany. And then the Libro of Russia into action once again. Oh, terrific play. Veronkova on the spot once more. What a point. A mega rally. With some terrific defensive play from the Libro on either team. Oh, and Udu put in a really difficult position after Pogany couldn't control the initial service reception. German Libero. So Peru bets with an unreturnable serve, even though there were two contacts from the Germans. That takes her to 13 points in the match. It is Kozlowski with the instructions. Rubets with the serve. Clever touch from Louisa Lippmann. We've seen her put the speed gun under pressure with spikes of over 90 kilometers per hour. But this time, it was delightful disguise and delicacy. That brings up point number 17 from Germany's leading scorer. So Scherzel preparing to serve. So point Russia. And Baronkova with her 10th successful kill, 14 points in the match. Russia closing in on this second set with a 10 point advantage. Oh, an unreturnable serve from Efimova. Stigrote unable to control the service reception. And Russia racing towards the second set. Excuse me, the third set total to make it two sets to one. But a service error gives service back to Germany. So Mudu to serve. 
and it's beyond the baseline to bring up set point for the first time and look how many Russia have to play with so substitutions as Maligana and Romanova check into the game Katikova takes a seat on the bench the Russian teenager Amudu with the set. And the put away scored by Vanyak. Second effective kill of the match for Vanyak. Uh, Louisa Lippmann finding the space once again. 18 points in the match now for Lippmann. Following on from the 15 point outing she produced against Italy yesterday. Timeout called. Because just as in the second set, Germany are battling bravely, making Russia earn the set point. And they'll be competing with everything that they have in an effort to extend this third set for as long as they possibly can. So Vanyak serving. Germany still facing set point. Trailing by nine. And what a way to bring up set number three. And how fitting that is Voronkova who has closed it out. She has been absolutely terrific throughout the match. And in the third set alone, well, seven points on seven successful spikes. Germany takes set number three by a score of 25 points to 15. A dominant display throughout that third set. And now Germany will be forced to take this one to the five set distance if they hope to arrest their four game losing skid. Russia may have conceded the opening set, but they responded terrifically to take the second set pretty comfortably. 25-21, and then in set number three, Voronkova has been absolutely unplayable. As she has been throughout the match, her jump spike serve continues to make life difficult for Germany. Lenka Derp. But only dink the ball back over after her desperate dive. It was feasted upon by Fatisova, but that was made by Voronkova's high speed spike serve. A tiring defense at the net from a theme of her three blocks in her four, four point total to this point in the match. Fatisova, three effective kills in set number three alone. Three blocks for Afima that in set number three alone. Four in the match for her eight point total. Perubex, second leading scorer for Russia. 13 points, and this was her unreturnable serve. A double contact from Pagani and Imudu. And ultimately, Germany unable to get it over the net. Voronkova has been a tower of strength. Offensively, defensively, on her serve. She's almost been unplayable during the course of this match. And Russia building around a terrific play that she has been producing throughout the course of the contest so far. One of the best spikers, Voronkova and Perubets for Russia. Voronkova. Spiking at 50% coming into this match. 
Cooper and Malik spiking at over a 50% success rate for the BNL coming into this sixth round robin contest. And she's continued in similar vein here to be the best spiker. The leading point scorer for Russia. And it's Russia who will get things underway. Romanova preparing to serve. Russia have taken two straight sets to lead by two sets to one. Nice reception off a high-speed spike by Talisheva. Louisa Lippmann, now the set, trying to set up the backcourt spike, and it's an effective one. Germany take the point, my goodness. They were under fire there from Russia. But some resolute defending kept them in the point. And then a nicely disguised play. Sees them take the opening point of set number four. So Mudu preparing to serve. Has to go over on this contact. Perubets does so. Amudu with the set. Aaron Fromm sees it turn back. Quick reflexes from Pogany. Libero into action once again. Fromm sends Maligana sprawling. Amudu going to ground. Lengthy rally this one. And still the ball's in play. Louisa Lippmann with the point-winning spike after a mega rally. And Russia, while the players just standing in their respective positions, Germany responding terrifically to take the opening two points of this third, of this fourth set. And this is in stark contrast to the manner in which they started sets two and three. Maligina gets the first point on the board for Russia. Stigro went scurrying after it, but unable to catch up to the cannon of her teammate, Marin Fromm. So here's Voronkova. What will happen with the jump spike serve? Deflection off the net to make it even more difficult to deal with. Louisa Lippmann with the attempted spike. And it's an effective one to tie things up at two points apiece. Well, Germany were claiming a deflection, so it's Russia who take the point. It's all square at two. Blistering jump spike serve once again. Terrific reception. But it came with too much power for Romanova to be able to keep it in play. And one wonders what the speed gun will read on that overhead from Lippmann because that went like a tracer bullet. There's confirmation. 92 kilometer per hour. Romanova in the firing line. Rubet, 14 points in the match now for the Russian captain. Ties things up at three points apiece. Terrific placement on that precise put away. Fatisova with the serve. Romanova with the reception of the spike. Perubet down the sideline, but which side of the sideline is it? The wrong side of the sideline from Russia's point of view. Or was there a touch? No challenge has been launched, but Peru bets unable to control it. Down the alley. Difficult shot attempt. The defense, German defenses in such terrific position. Peru bets with the reception. Big hit from Maligana. So, point in favor of Russia. Maligina to serve four points apiece. Fourth set. Romanova with the reception. 
Even Veronkova with the reception to set up ultimately the point winning spike from Maligana. He's found the space terrifically well, bisecting the tandem of German defenders into the open space in the backcourt. Overhanded reception from Stiegroth. Louisa Lippmann called into action. She comes away with the point to take her to 21 for the match. This match that is all square here in set number four. Five points apiece. Rubets with the reception. Talisheva bumping it into position for the final play over the net. Here's Talisheva once again. Rubet spikes in the direction of From. Stigroat sending Talisheva sprawling. Terrific recovery by Lippmann. From with the touch over the net. Backcourt spike attempted by Maligina and she breaches. The German sextet to find the court and produce her fifth point of the match. She's demonstrated wonderful accuracy on her putaways. Four successful kills now as Perubet serves. 6-5 for Russia. Felicia with the bump. There's the set. And flying in from the backcourt is Perubets, who then was called into action to keep the point alive. Perubets back into the backcourt. Thunderous hit from Veronkova turn back. She's called into action once more and can't control the trajectory. She puts it into the net on her own side of the court. And it's all square at six points apiece. Well, she was called into action twice in quick succession there. And the accuracy just evaded her on her second attempt at overhead. But that should in no way detract from the towering performance she has produced so far to lead her team in scoring. Talisha with the reception. Ligana comes back over on the first contact. Clever touch, desperate dive kept alive by Pogany for Germany. Maligana with the reception of the spike. Overhead is deflected, ultimately controlled by Stigrot. Louisa Lippmann sends Maligana sprawling. Delicate touch from Veronkova. Oh, what a hit! Well, we've seen that on a few occasions in this match from Hanka. It doesn't necessarily produce a high speed reading on the speed gun, but after this lengthy rally, 25 seconds in duration, she's able to get such whip and precision on her overheads, often from the far side hand as well. And it produces another point. Wow, that's a big spike from Veronkova. Backcourt spike from Maligana, and it drops in play from Russia's perspective to make it all square at seven points apiece. Maligana moves to six points in the match. And three of them have come here in set number four. So Fimova to serve, seven points apiece. What a hit, my goodness. Flying in from the backcourt. Louisa Lippmann brings up the ten, the eight-point total for the first technical timeout of set number four. And this one is nip and tuck, approaching 100 kilometers per hour again, given running room on the plate from her teammates. That one came down as though fired from a cannon. Fantastic height from Lippmann. Highest spike reach on the team. 319 centimeters. She approached three meters on that put away to trigger the first technical timeout. Some of the highlights from the match so far.
against one of the poor effective blocks for Afimova. Tatisova with five successful kills in her eight point total. Scherzel with the serve, Germany leading by one. The wrong cover, powering that one down once again. 12 successful kills in the match for Voronkova, 16 points total. And she ties things up at eight points apiece. And her and Hit Lippmann, my goodness, they are producing an exhibition of devastating hitting here at the Suwon. Well, Maligana and Fatisova in tandem, producing the effective block. And it's Maligana who gets the decisive contact, her first block of this fourth set, but she's got five points in set number four alone at her second block of the match. From with the bump, then caught into action for the spike. Romanova with the set for Voronkova. No sending that one back over. I'm not quite sure whether that's voguing from Maligana. Maybe she's a little too young to remember that. But dancing with delight nonetheless. The pile driving point produced by Voronkova. 16 points in the match for her now. Russia lead by two. Lippmann, oh my goodness, again. Well, there is some really heavy hitting in evidence from the leading scorers for their respective teams. Supersonic once more from Lippmann. 23 points in the match now. Pogany with the overhanded reception. From sees it turn back. Pogany goes to her knees to keep the ball alive. And Lippmann with a 23rd effective kill, ties things up at 10 points apiece. <laughs> Running cross court for the set is Romanova, Maligana. She's her spike controlled, but that one from Lippmann is uncontrollable. She is on fire at the moment. Germany eke out a one-point advantage, 25 points in the match for Lippmann. Terrific accuracy. Just long. Or is it? It's an, un it's an unreturnable serve, I thought, for a moment. But no, it's good judgment from Russia. Just beyond the baseline from Hanka. So Perubets taking a seat on the bench. Boyukova checking in. So here comes... The high-speed jump spike serve from Voronkova. Germany deal with it. Lippmann sends Voronkova sprawling. A set from Talisheva. Action at the net from the German defenders. And once again, Lippmann and Vazorka were called into action for Germany at the net. But they were unable to turn back a high-speed spike from Maligana. Seven points in this match. Five effective kills. Or eight points in a match, excuse me. And a sixth kill. And an unreturnable serve from Voronkova. Who is in the zone at the moment. High speed right down the sideline. How on earth do you deal with that? Absolutely sensational. Her first ace of the match. And indeed, we saw Stigroat put her hands on her hips because it's one of those you just have to say was too good. Okay. 
verzögert und der Ball auf kurz reinkommen kann. Okay? Los, aber. Stein ab. Deutsch! So Veronka was serving, Russia lead by two. Has to go over on this contact, Lippmann with the hit, and she finds the gap, my goodness. Germany appeared to be extended after dealing with that bullet serve from Veronkova once again. But they were able to turn it around so quickly. Lippmann with 26 points in the match equaling the total that she produced against Japan. In the third game of the third match of Paul Plate over in Brazil in week one. So it's a one point match, a one point game here in this fourth set. Germany trailing by one. Baronkova with the reception. Quick hit at the net from Fatisova is turned back by an effective German block. So we're all square, 13 points apiece. <laughs> or point to Russia because there was a touch. Boyukova into the match off the bench with her first point contribution so far. Pogany with the reception. And Vanyak with her third point of the match. Her overhead deflected out of bounds. That is terrific hitting from Maligana. Nine points in the match now. On that, her seventh successful kill. And Russia with a one-point advantage, approaching three meters on the spike height once again. It's a set. Reverse one, but towering defense at the net from a combination of Scherzel and Lippmann. Sending back that attempted spike from Beryukova. And it's Lippmann who does get credit on this occasion. She produced a monster block earlier in the match, but it didn't go down on her stat sheet. That one most certainly does. So we are all square, 15 points apiece. <laughs> Russia wrestled the serve back from Germany to bring up the technical timeout by arriving at the 16 point total here in set number four. They lead by one. Well, Louisa Lippmann leads all scorers with 26 points in this match. Well, you can see the graphics actually giving her credit for zero blocks. But I've counted at least two of them where she has sent the ball back over, repelling powerful spikes, but offensively, well, there's no doubt. There's one, in ex <laughs> there's one of them in this little replay reprise. They haven't gone down in her stat sheets, but make no mistake, in this facet of the match, she has been utterly unplayable. 25 clean kills. So many of them approaching the three-figure mark on the speed gun. 
They're going to need a lot more from her because they have to win two straight sets now to Germany if they hope to avoid losing five matches straight. Peru bets into the match for Russia, their captain. Well, that is a really effective play for Germany to send Scherzel running around to the flank, elevating off one leg and powering down the point-winning play. Ten points in the match now, all of them coming off clean kills. And they don't come much cleaner than that from Afimova. The fourth successful spike, nine points in the match for her now. Russia restore their one-point advantage. It's a theme of it to serve. The hand cut, not able to control that left-handed overhead that has been so effective throughout the match. So Germany have requested a challenge after the point was awarded. And there's the official review confirming that there was no touch. So point to Russia. But a team of it prepares to, prepares to serve. Lippmann, this is her spike controlled by Maligina. Powering in from the, on the attack line was Peru Betts. But she couldn't control it. Catching the net and drifting out of bounds. So it's a one point match once again. So point to Russia. As the attempted German block goes out of bounds. So Pogany with the set. And Germany eat their way back to within one. Deep in the fourth set now. Trio of Russian defenders jumping in unison. They couldn't control the block. Hanka with the serve. Terrific hitting by Fatisova. And Germany always getting back to within one, but Russia crucially keeping their noses in front. It's all smiles among their sextet because they are edging closer to the winning line. They've won their last seven matches against Germany. Sprawling save from Talisheva. Delicate touch from Voronkova. Here's the set for Lippmann. Oh, what a block. Terrific play from Russia. And the Disco Divas are in evidence once again. Strutting their stuff turning the surface here at the Su-1 indoor gymnasium into a dance floor. Beautiful block by Maligana. Ten points in the match, two successful blocks. And eight of those points have come here in set number four. What a catalyst she has been for her team. And it's going to take an almighty effort for Germany to force this to a fifth and deciding set now. They are trailing by three. But remember, in the previous two sets, two and three when Russia have had a fistful of set points. Germany have made them work to close it out. So Germany, the first order of business for them, we are looking to keep themselves in contention as Russia edge ever closer towards the match point total. Voronkova preparing to serve. Russia's leading scorer with 18 points. A devastating jump serve. Difficult to deal with for Germany. Has to go over on this contact. Voronkova with the bump, there's the set. Perubets with the spike, well saved by Pogany. Backcourt spike is turned back. Germany stretched, 
has to go over, and it does so. Overhand save. It was effective from Baronkova, but then it cannons back straight into the face of Perubets, and Germany come away with that point when they were being pulled all over the court. Absolutely terrific tenacity from the German squad. Oh, fortune favoring the Germans on that occasion, but it's fortune that they, a fortune that they created. Gertie's with the block. Well, really, Voronkova. With another unreturnable spike. Almost a case of self-preservation there for Pogany as the ball came flying towards her at over 90 kilometers per hour. Well, Russia can send victory here now. And Germany, their competitive spirit, their togetherness has to be admired. But the block turned back by Perubets. 15 points in the match for her. Here's the set, has to go over. Oh, remarkable from Germany. And again, from a difficult position, Germany coming away with the point. Vanyak showing exquisite dexterity to get herself into position to execute that difficult stroke. Has to go over on this contact. Flat push. Terrific hustle from Voronkova. Big spike attempt and a point-winning spike attempt comes from the hand of the captain. Perubets moves to 16 points and it brings up match point for Russia. Here in set number four. Well, it's a rivalry that Russia have owned recently, but Germany made a terrific start claiming the first set. Russia have responded magnificently and now have match point. It's Maligina to serve. A flat serve received by Vanyak. Going to court is the libero, Hanka, comes back over. Louisa Lippmann with a clever touch, kept alive by a sprawling Perubet. And the attempted overhead is long from Maligina. And just as they did in set number two and three, Germany competing doggedly to make Russia earn the point to take the set. But a challenge has been requested here. Are they looking for a contact because it went beyond the baseline by some considerable distance. Here's the review. No touch. Point goes to Germany. Russia still with match point. But Germany have staved off the first one. So preparing to serve is Germany's leading scorer, Luisa Lippmann, who has been sensational in this match with 26 points. Big pressure here. Serve is in play. Talisheva with the reception. Perubets with the big hit. Tossed up by Vanyak. Whipping overhead once again from that trusty left hand from Hanka. Timeout called by Russia again, just looking to break up any momentum that Germany are putting together. It's difficult to read because it's coming from the shoulder that is furthest away from the net. And she found the space effectively to move to five points in the match and keep Germany in this match. But Russia still on match point. They want to close it out as efficiently as possible and not allow Germany to strengthen their belief. So, the next point. Absolutely crucial for Germany to try and force this. If they look to force this to a two-set margin to take set number four. Voronkova with the reception, the set for Perubets. It's turned back by the German defences at the net. Perubets once again, deflected at the net. Knocked back by Romanova. Backcourt spike attempt from Maligana. Kept alive by Germany. Vanyak with the big hit. 
Romanova sent sprawling, but she can't control it. And Germany, just as they've done in sets number two and three, really making Russia work for this. Felix Kozlowski remaining cool on the sideline. But their team now, if they can get one more point, then we'll be going to the two-point clear margin. And how differently things look here in four, set number four. Because it appeared that Russia, had, who had plenty of match points to play with, but Germany, as you'd expect here in the VNL, are giving them absolutely nothing. And they are making Russia work for this victory. But victory here in set number four, not a foregone conclusion by any means. And if it goes to a fifth and deciding set, well, Germany will really fancy their chances because Russia have lost each of their last seven five setters at world level major tournaments going back to 2016. So Germany will no doubt be aware of that statistic. And they'll be looking to force a fifth and deciding set to test the composure of Russia. Crucial point here, Lippmann to serve. Still match point for Russia. Peru best with the big hit, desperate dive, keeps it alive for Germany. Sprawling defense from Maligana. Backcourt spike is effective from who else but Voronkova. And the leading scorer for Russia closes out this.